I'm gonna be showing you guys my foundation base, how I set my eyelids for eyeshadow. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys this eyeshadow, but this is my first time doing this anyway. This is not a regular, I just tried something new. I was inspired by my hat. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get into it. So my eyebrows are already done. I used a brow pomade, a pencil. First I used a pencil to outline, then I went in with the brow pomade. And then I did a little brow gel. I felt them in a little lighter today, but right now I'm just going in and I'm carving them out. And even though this is fast forwarded, like this step is really important to take care of because like you can make or break your eyebrows for real. And I'm going in with lightly with concealer because I'm going to end up going in with a base for the eyeshadow. And I don't need that much coverage because like I just needed to carve out and the color is pretty similar to my skin tone. Now I'm just going in with this um, souffle as my moisturizer. I literally had nothing on my face. And this is like really good and it's tacky so the makeup will stay on. And then I'm about to go in with my foundation. And I'm trying to use as little as foundation as possible because I know like I'm really heavy handed when it comes to highlighting and contouring so I'll literally just put a little bit of foundation like I don't care about the coverage because I can always go back in and you know conceal if I need to extra parts or like add foundation and extra parts that I need to but overall I have like a light like you can just see I'm literally just like brushing it on um because most of my face is gonna be covered with concealer anyways from highlighting and contouring so I usually just do that and I just like the feeling of not having to feel so much stuff in my face too and it photographs really well so now I'm going in with concealer and I'm just going to you know bring out points in my face that I want to and it's gonna help me with reverse contouring my nose as well and I those are not the only places that I'm going to highlight it's just that I like to put those on there and then I use excess from the brush to get the other parts because I don't want it like too much so like I'm going oh I love this brush by the way this is a Milani concealer brush it's really good for feathering out the concealer and like I said the excess I'm putting on my chin and I will be putting some on my forehead I believe yeah I would do the same thing if I was using a beauty blender too I don't usually put concealer on my chin I'll just use the excess that I have and just put it and I'm just going around with that brush and I'm like feathering the ends and I feel like that works really well and it still provides like a full coverage for me so yeah I just do that because I want like brightened I want to look awake and then I'm going in with this it's a foundation stick and I'm going in with to contour but also I warm up my face and I like it because it gives me this like tan like sun-kissed look that I love a lot and it's foundation so it provides that coverage that I need and it just I feel like it just blends better into the skin to give me the desired look that I personally want so I'm going in with my foundation brush and I'm doing that so it literally will help blend it even more so it looks like skin like and it looks very natural and I'm really just dabbing that in and while I'm jamming to music because it's a vibe it's really a vibe yeah so I'm just doing that with my foundation brush and I'm really just like patting it in and it gives you that look I love the look that it gives because it's very like sun like that's what it is it's sun like and skin like And now I'm going to go and I'm going to bake, but I just want to say I baked with this powder and I don't like it at all. Um, this is a makeup revolution powder and I did it with, like, as you can see that I just made a face because I did it with the, with a wet beauty blender and I don't know what was happening. Like if you can see it's clumping up and it just didn't do what I needed it to do. <laughs> I feel like I had to do a lot more after I was done with my makeup to make it look well, especially to photograph well. But yeah, it was clumping up and I'm putting like extra, like I already baked, but I'm putting like extra, extra bake on just so like for fallout purposes to catch that. That's why like under my eyes are like super, super baked. 
and I just go and I do my mouth and then I'm doing reverse contouring right there which I do sometimes but very lightly also just to give me a matte look and I'm also putting that powder underneath my chin just for the sake of like not getting any product on anything else and just everything looking pretty matte So yeah guys, that was my basically my base and how I like set my eyelids and stuff like that. Um, one thing I did want to mention is I used the Makeup Revolution powder in this video. I don't, I haven't used it for a long time. I don't know what happened because I was applying it with the Wet Beauty Blender. It had an overcast, so I would say if you use that like when you're done baking, because I put so much because I didn't want fallout for my eyeshadow. I would say spray your beauty blender with a setting spray and go back in and dab it and you should be okay because I but I just went over with another powder just to make sure because I was taking pictures today but either do that I went over it with just I just wet my beauty blender again and I like pressed it into my skin but I don't know what that is I know some powders don't mix well when you like apply them with the wet beauty blender but I just wanted to mention that for you guys and I'm going to put the products down below I will I'll put them down below. I tried to use mostly drugstore products in this one, but yeah, and some old products that I haven't used in a while, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.